Everybody and welcome to the Salkaris Wargaming channel for the third training video on Wargame Island Battle. So this video will be quite uh, quick on uh, and based on the different orders you can give to your units. I won't go into specific strategies for each unit because right after this video I will make a well I will make a series of, on vid of videos uh, sp specifically on different types of units, commanders, logistics, uh, well commanders, supply tanks, anti-air, infantry, and everything else, and I'll go more into detail on how to use these units on the battlefield. So, in this video, I'm just going to be, uh, I'm just going to focus on different basic orders you can give to your unit. So, it's just like the previous videos, much more focused uh, for the, uh, well, much more useful for the new players who don't know everything yet. So, let's go. Uh, the first orders we're going to talk about are the, are the formations available to the units. You've got the split formation. Click and click, right, left click on the ground, and your units will split. Once split, you can of course regroup them, and you have them all by four once more. Uh, the different things you need to know about the split and re the regroup is that the split uh, acts a bit like the stop order. If you if you are moving, if you are giving them orders, and you split them while doing so. The units will just stop and cancel every single order they were actually uh, doing. So uh, the thing you may need to uh, be careful of, be aware of, is that if you split, if you split your units, don't forget to give them new orders afterwards. If not, they'll they'll just stand there in the open. The regroup. Uh, the thing you need to know about that order is that it only works on. It can only group. Uh, two to four uh, same units, identical units together, and those units have to be quite uh, near one another. If you take two units over here and two over here and you regroup them, it won't work. If, however, you have more than four units of the same type together and you click regroup, well, the game will automatically regroup them in different uh, squads, so that's pretty nice. The last order in this section is the spread order, which will allow you to spread your units. This is uh, most efficient against two types of attacks. The artillery attack, as shells will, won't be able to hit every single unit, and air bombing runs, which, uh, well, for the same reason, will, won't be able to hit every single unit. Uh, so that's it for the three basic orders. There is another formation that you can uh, make. It is the uh, classic left click on the ground and hold and drag your mouse to create a line with your units to make a formation. That's pretty nice. So going down to the second line, it is the attack. The attack is actually the attack move order. Click on the attack, left click on the ground, and the unit will just move to this area. The basic move order is select and right click. The attack move is exactly the same thing. The only difference is that if it encounters enemy units it can shoot at, this unit will stop and fire. The stop, of course, stops the uh, the actual orders, and the unit will just well will just immobilize itself and wait for new orders. And the fire position orders the unit to fire on the targeted position, even if you don't see any enemy units. This is particularly used with artillery to shoot at different areas like this. The attack uh, position is also very useful with this formation, uh, which is okay. in the uh, well, the, the, the line formation. You attack your ground, and the unit will stay in line while attacking. This is pretty useful while attacking planes like over here. You can spread multiple squads all over the plane, and they will attack in a straight line and stay in formation until they have reached this area. In the previous wargame, the units would just converge to the same point, making a big blob of units once they are all regrouped and pretty vulnerable to artillery or heavy enemy fire, which was pretty bad. This uh, formation is kept by while attacking, but also while going reverse. Reverse is the second order in the last line over here. It orders units to, to fall back while still showing their front armor to the enemy. It allows to fall back while still being able to withstand a few hits with the thickest armor. The thickest armor is always in the front, as you can see here. 11 in the front, 2 in the back. It is always better to show your front armor to the enemy. The last order on this list is the move fast order. The move fast order, just click on the move fast and left click on the ground, orders the unit to take the fastest route to that position. That means taking the roads, of course, because each unit has two different st uh, speed stats. The classic speed here 85 km per hour, which is the speed they uh, have on the actual planes. 
they are of course slower in forests and they have a road speed which is their move fast speed actually 150 kilometers per hour let's stop this here we go so these are the basic orders for the different ground units. Some units have different orders. We've got, of course, the artillery unit, which added to a fire position, has the smoke position order, which will allow to fire smoke rounds to smoke an entire area. The infantry squad on its side has the unload, of course, uh, order. Just unload, and the units will just disembark right next to the transport. Please stop firing. It's shaking the camera. Thank you. To... Uh, to re-embark, you can just select both units and click and no, no, no. just click the infantry and right click on the transport. It will move a bit, it's quite weird, but then the unit will just re-embark in the transport. Just wait a few seconds and here we go, the unit is re-embarked in the transport. Another type of unit that has specific orders, special orders, are the helicopters. Helicopters uh, basically always uh, make a stationary flight here at a few meters above the ground. If you want them to go up in the sky to be able to fire or to see for recon helicopters over forests, you need to change altitude here and it will just go up. If you want, if you click once more into altitude, it will of course go back down to its previous position. The land order isn't really used in the game. Uh, the change, the, the, as you can see, the helicopters in stationary mode of, like this do not consume fuel. So landing isn't really used that much. The only situation in which you want to use the landing order is when you want to refuel and rearm your helicopters. You land them on the ground and the uh, nearby logistics supply or supply vehicles will resupply and refuel your units. The last type of unit that has special commands are the airplanes. They basically have the same commands as ground units for attack and move. Just select the plane, right click and the plane will arrive and move. Select the plane, fire position and left click and the plane will come in the, uh, the, on the battle, in the battle map and attack the position. The only special order planes have are the evac order, which will cancel every single order they have. They will evacuate the, the, uh, the field go right up into the atmosphere and uh, evac to the airport, the nearest airport. Refuel, repair and then it will be available again. So that's it for the basic orders. This was quite a simple tutorial. Uh, most of you may, may know, I guess, these orders, but as I said, I will go into more detail on how to use these specific orders with specific units in the videos um, that I will make on different units in the future. So thanks for watching and see you pretty soon for the next videos uh, on specific units. Thanks, see you next time.